sweep here. And it would be a shocker, that's for sure, because a lot of people, myself included, had Najin Whiteshield down to take a fairly simple victory here. But OMG, they really have turned up to play in this quarterfinals. Can they make it to Seoul? Can they reach the semifinals for that epic clash once again? with Star Horn World Cup. We will find out. Level one plays have been fairly testy between the teams in the last two matches. Nobody gaining too many big advantage other than OMG, of course, in that opening start. But with Gorilla on Nami, it's a risk. You can't blindly face check into those bushes. And Goong has decided to go with the barrier on Orianna instead of the exhaust. Now, exhaust better in those team fights, but he will have the bit, a lot of shields to make sure that he doesn't get 100% or dove if Lovelink plus Cool decide to pressure him early. And we had the analyst that's talking about how Gorilla wasn't on one of his main champions. Now he got a Nami, most played champion in summer, and we've seen it already here at Worlds. Oh yeah, he's had, he's insane. Yeah, really. Lane switch is coming in. You can see it's Corky heading top, son. Along with Cloud are making the move. How are they going to react to it? It's going to be a five man invade, actually. OMG, all going in. Right. You do see Watch was up here around the mid lane, so he was ready to react to this one. He is going to get spotted. He's going to pass straight by a ward that OMG have. So we'll see whether this is an even trade or whether OMG just want to ward it out. So they are going to go for the lane swap, it looks like here. Mm. It looks like they're going to group the wave as well to try and get it pushing against them. Well, they're pinging it. Watch one. San for is it. in position. I mean, so they already warded the they, buffs here. Yep. Which means they're basically just going to trade buffs because there's the ward to spot if White Shield was starting a three buff on their own blue side here. So therefore, the warded can now take red buff and go in there. Both duo laners holding the lane there as well. You just saw, of course, Gorilla holding it up. San did the exact same. OMG are going to go for that invade. But just like last game, Safe is sticking around in this top lane. He's got those saplings. He can sneak in a couple of last hits if he lands them right. And it will be tricky to keep him away from that experience. But he's got to be careful he doesn't get dove early on. Yeah, he's got to have that timer in his head. He had it last time. Back out before they get pushed in. Yeah, they might circling around, around here. They're, I mean, they're making sure they go to get, the rain. Making sure he doesn't get away this time. Oh. Yeah, I'm trapped. Uh oh, saving trouble. Teleport, going away. He's going to the tower. Is he going to get oh. interrupted? It is. That's going to cancel it. He's got wow. much available, but this is brilliantly controlled. And that was gifted across the go going. And this right here is why you normally don't stand under your tower in these lane swaps when you know the enemy yeah. team has four members on the top side of the map because it is so easy for them to just walk up and dive you. We saw Gorilla recall from the bottom lane to try and come up and help him. But that was just way too late. He should never stand there. That's why people are running with the junglers in the start, farming, before they start going out into these lanes. Man, Cloud really earning his spot here, too. Really good sub in right there. Able to stop the back as or stop the teleport as well as tank the turret. Oh. Cleanly executed dive that does earn Go going his tier. Now he'll be stacking up pretty happily down there versus Zephyr. Yeah. Inside four minutes to get the tier. Very happy with that. Absolutely worked out. Wonder Ooh, easy, son. Goes into the last shadow. Not sure if he wanted to do that or not. Go going. Uh, Goon, sorry, making him pay. Cloud warding out the red buff back off. Giving the vision. Spotting out whether Watch comes looking for any of these ganks in his mid lane. And actually, a bit of an invade from OMG here. They're going to try and catch Watch out. Or are they going straight by? Yeah, they're going to try and catch him out. At least get some deep wards first so you can start spotting the jungles. They have to go down bottom lane and push out the wave here because Go Going is very far up the lane. There's two members. So oh, Room Prison down. That's Getting catch into the tower him. there. Void spots. So that will bounce it. That's all they needed. Yeah. Basically, they want to have to wave into the tower to reset it so uh. Zephyr couldn't freeze it. And they might look for more fights. Oh, Aqua Prison catches on Go Going. Have they got the damage? He flashes away. The exhaust will be enough. Zephyr will get himself. No! Oh, it looks a Gorilla. That's not key to kill though, nonetheless. It is a kill, and Go Going at such a great start down this bottom uh -oh. lane, getting a lot of farm. San now getting caught out, Save pushing in towards him with a twisted advance and sapling toss. That will take him lower than he expected, and he's forced away as well. So basically, have these like one-on-ones now in this side lane. 
Top lane is getting some farm. We're going though. Didn't flash the bubble. And therefore, Gorilla could set up nicely. Top lane is shoved up pretty far though. Save still has his flash, but the jungle and support roam here already headed up there. He's got to have a feeling about this because they haven't seen jungle or support in quite a long time. Save's instincts do tell him to back off to safety. Well, the ward gives him the vision. Now he has the vision. I think he's just sapping Tulls into the bush before he backs away. Still hasn't backed, though. Maybe expecting, is he going to get support come in time? I'm not sure. I don't think they're going to dive in that quick yet. He's going to back away. Well, going, he's enjoying his time down this bottom lane. Oh, cool caught out. Aqua Prison on it. Watch is going to come through. It's only the jungler and support, though, that are laying down the damage because Gung had gone back to five, but got to be happy with that. That will force him back early. Gorilla being very aggressive this time around. But setting up some good bubbles, applying a lot of pressure onto OMG here, and actually even it out in goal almost. Tell a lie, still five on the goal, but at least got a kill down this bottom lane onto go going. And so far in this lane swap, there's been the dive in top lane, save you might be in trouble Ooh. again. Lovely saw save, go past there, that ward in the lane. This is going to be another dive. He's got flash available still. I'm not sure if this is going to work out quite as successfully early. for OMG. Well, it was early, but they didn't follow through on it. They're just instead going to churn down that turret. And the minion wave is going to get cleared out. Say we'll have the support of watch by the next time this wave pushes in. If I Gorilla again, down his bottom lane, Sephir can handle himself in this one-on-one. -on -one. They don't get to deny and if I'm go going, but it means Gorilla can roam around the map and join him for these fights here. Safe. Ooh, tower push catching on him. Love oh! in trouble. He comes through. What? Not quite close enough. Didn't go for the flash. Hasn't got level six, so he couldn't do the kick. And as you mentioned, Zephyr is quite confident on the bottom lane. Go going struggling. Well, he's a rise though, getting a lot of farm early yeah. on here, so he's actually pretty happy so far because he's getting the solo lane experience, even though it is a lane swap. And he's getting chunked down, he's out of regeneration, but his teleport's coming back up. So even though Zeppa has this lane constantly shoved and he's doing a good job harassing under turret, we're going, has the tier, at least he's stacking up his mana, he's getting those last hits. Yeah, the fact that Zephyr keeps pushing in the lane is even better for Go going. Yes, your tower will take a lot of damage, but you will be there. He can never zone you away from the minion. And you get all the experience, you get all the farm you need. Go back now, you have teleport ready. Just rejoin, get a cannon minion. Well, that was a red buff steal by Watch. Came around, got in there. Teleport being used by Good going to get back down the bottom lane. Clear that out. As you mentioned, still stacking out. But we're seeing considerably more aggression from Najim White. So Gorilla especially looking a lot more confident on his Nami. Now, White also have teleport advantage now. And with the dual lane showing top this early on, they're already calling save down to the dragon area. Look to the mid lane area. Maybe they go for something here. Deep Ward again placed in the red side jungle here of OMG to protect save further. Looks like it's going to be Sam going back for his first fly. With the phage to be coming out there. Max off. Page, oh, we went with the Sheen actually. Page was picked up by Zephyr on his first pack, and of course, now we're at this tricky time with the lane swap. You've got to be careful you don't give up too much dragon control, which you see Watch warding out. Maybe considering this one, they forced Cool back quite a few times in that mid lane. He's losing out in the trade to Goong at the moment on Oriana. Yeah, it's very hard for Zed against Oriana once she gets a blue buff and she picks up her arm guard here, the first arm item, and she has a barrier to actually kill her, which means she will always just outpoke you, keep the CS lead, keep pushing it in, and that's what Goong has been doing on this Oriana here. But going still sitting down his top, down his bottom lane. He doesn't really want to go top because he doesn't have teleport ready. And Sefa keeps pushing in the minions to him. And he's also has this pink ward here that's been protecting him from that dive. And since they haven't even made a move to try and go for that dive, it's going to stay there as long as he needs. Does give him plenty of warning. Gorilla is everywhere on the map right now. He's been roaming so much. Cool having to protect that pink ward, but he can't. And that will be taken. You see, watch the support coming in. As you might show the group in the gun dragon. So the duo again showing top. Now shields finally go for that answer. Took them a while, but they did get it done. And Gorilla, as you mentioned, he went with that early mobility boots build as opposed to the early sight zone build here for Cloud. So Gorilla is able to roam quicker, uh, but Cloud is going to be, be able to keep up his vision more efficiently. Yeah, we actually see early mobility boots for Gorilla pretty much every single game he plays because he wants to be able to roam around, be part of the 
applying pressure on the map. Yeah, a lot of their early success in the group stages were from the bottom lane winning here for Shield and Gorilla roaming very quickly to create plays elsewhere. Mid lane, though, does have Loveling as well as Cool Collapsing. Oh, they're going for it. Stealth comes out of Loveling. Voice points leveled up. We'll catch on. There goes Cool. Have they got the damage? The Shockwave pulls them both back, but it will be the kill for Cool. And that may well put some pressure on the mid lane turret. It's definitely going to put some pressure, and they might even be able to clear out some of these pink wards that are hindering Cool's roam. Did get uh, OMG confused earlier, not the split push team, but being able to roam is really big for Cool. Being able to roam from the mid lane with that said, is going to be big for them towards the mid game. Yeah, there's a lot of defensive pings still to clear for them. Why should is invested into a lot of them early on, and because Gorilla was roaming around, they've been able to defend them pretty much since the start and just uh, kept them up. But a kill for Cool that is very important on the Z because we have seen two games in a row now. Doom never got going on Z, never had an impact in the game. Cool really needs to show how he plays them. And remember, this, this is Cool who he got last year. Fizz banned against him all the time. These roaming assassins are definitely something that he knows how to play and can thrive on. Oh, Gorilla not going to catch. And that was a pretty good trade for OMG. Zephyr gave as good as he got, though. Trying to turn it back around. Them ultimates are catching on San. As it stands, very even across the lanes. It's going with a big advantage that's built up because Save, of course, had to go down and get that Dragon, which many lost out on a lot of that experience. That he will regain, though. Go going has shoved that wave all the way up, so that will all be recouped as they try and pressure Sand. Zephyr really is working well in this trade right now. Yeah, this is a very good lane for White Shield because they have to sustain advantage from Nami, and also they have better poke, so if there's long poke fights, they will win out. OMG only has like the quick burst from Corgi with the shield from Jenna to try and win the trades. Oh, no. taking a for Goom, remember, he got caught down again. Is it gonna be enough damage? Yes, it is, absolutely. Oh, Goom, oh, do one more shot, he will go down. What? Must <laughs> to pick him off to make it an even trade. The kill, of course, went to watch in there, but <laughs> the save had to come down. He oh. did miss out on a lot of CS in that uh, top lane. Goom had some great dodges right there. He was able to juke it up. He was going to live, but watch kicks over go going to secure his death and the trade. Oh, it's not, not over, over yet. yet. Yeah, watch is still in there. We see <laughs> that Loveling is sitting around the side. He's going to face check in. Going, watch, flanking in. watch gets the vision. Teleport comes around. The slow on watch. In comes go going around That's the count. side. He's going down. And OMG once again begins to turn the screws in the early game. Another great teleport from Go Going. Another kill is going to give them control. Mid lane, they could shove in on this. Three kills this early on Rise. Again. Stop, stop giving Again. him this champion, well, guys. If you do want to give him the rise and you have the lane swap, why don't you just put your focus on denying him the farm in bottom lane? They didn't even attempt so that guy. Exactly. His pink ward lasted so long. So last time around, he got the Rod of Ages fairly early on. He didn't go for the tier early, but he's had the tier since pre-minute four. That's stacking out well. Rod of Ages is almost completed. He's going to become a monster so yeah. quickly. 20 minute mark, he's going to be very hard to stop. Right Shield had every chance to try and shut him down in the lane swap, but Save was standing at his tower in top lane, dying, and had no reason to be there at all. Ah, OMG have pulled the split push call though. They've got cool down bottom. He's already got his cutlass plus the brutalizer, and he does have pressure on the turret. Not very good ward coverage though to keep that up. So this minion wave will probably get cleaned up. He's going to have to have some deep wards in if you want to start pushing over these towers. And White Shield, I mean, every time they see Cool in the bottom side of the map or the top side, they can group up at least with four members in this mid lane and just keep safe in the side lane to try and prevent the push. And he, when he has teleport ready, he can always join in for the fights. And if we start sieging down towers, Oriana is such a good pick for it. The thing is, with OMG, with having so much aggression, go go and drawing so much attention, Cool drawing so much attention, the weakness was always San in the early game. Once he made the late game, once he got to the team fight, his position was never in doubt. And again, he's getting all the free time in the world, sitting in mid lane. Everybody's going down to cool. Everybody's looking to go going. They're making the plays, and he's just sitting there, pumping out the shots. He's going to build up the rockets. The Triforce is well on its way of being complete. And again, the mid-game spike that we've been talking about in the pick and ban phase is going to be huge for OMG again. Zephyr's not exactly a huge lane bully either. So both of them, <laughs> you know, they're like, ah, oh, OK, we'll both get sort of to our mid-game, both get our Trinity Forces and pull the team fights. We really have to watch 
save in the team fights on this Maokai, though. As we said, you know, hasn't picked it. They ban it out all the time. However, my confidence in his team fighting ability is definitely there. Yeah, I mean, for sure. We just have to see how he performs as a the tank and, and, and not a carry type in this game here. And San is going to love this game because his job is basically to sit in mid lane and wave player forever while he side lanes and go going. And cool, does all the work. Remember back to the days, though, of save with Shivana split push. He's getting super, super beefy. Right now, he's definitely at a CS deficit, though. Could get to that point with now. Well, they're not quite so sneaky. Stood on a ward in that bush. They haven't swept it out just yet. Cool has backed off. Got himself splendid rookie complete along with that brutalizer. Dragon up in a second, and this is some big key items. Oh, but yeah. the Triforce not completed by Sam, where Zephyr has got it. So it's a it's a back and forth trade. Rod of Ages also completed by Go Going, not completed by Sam. It is a big deal with the lag of Trinity Force here. For San, if we do get a fight, for now they're just fighting over the river, trying to get the wards down. Pretty much everything has actually been cleared out so far, and why chill? taking control. Now, this is a tricky situation. Cloud split away from his team. The rest are coming around the side, but a flash monsoon is not something oh, you can sniff at. Lovely caught out. He leaps away. Oh, the kick from Watch. Just at the right time, that leap does manage to give him safety. Those Howling Gales, they're creating havoc for Najin Whitechill, but they've started the dragon. Yeah, and you don't want Cloud. your Ganna yeah. to be on the other <laughs> side. You need him to be with your team. He's trying to get through the river here. What? Yeah, you really can't do that. I don't think they should be fighting either. They need to back away from this one safe. Trying to get the Twisted Advance down. They will take the Dragon, and that keeps Najee White Shield close in gold. So OMG realized, first of all, our support is on the wrong side here, so he won't yeah. be able to help us. We are we don't have our Trinity Force completed on our AD carry yet, and the Z pick for a potential team fight would make it a bit risky, so decide to not go for it which is a smart move and very different compared to what I've seen in LPL from yeah, time to time exactly. where it's, oh, is the dragon up? Let's go fight. Here they actually say, we're in a bad position. Oh, Let's just back away. Saves walking straight into a trap here. Cool's ready to pounce as he's go going. Can they lock on towards him? Zephyr is with him on the side there, but it's a trap that Nadia Whitefield were ready for. In goes Cool. He gets caught out. Go going gets himself a kill. It could be a hit from maneuver. And Nadia Whitefield are found lacking. They could chase quick enough and OMG get away with a kill, but it's going to be the tower for Nadia Whitefield. Yeah, a little bit quicker collapse there from Go going and Cool. They were able to get the assassination off. See how this Jen and Corky combo can do defending this the tower. They've got plenty of poke here, and Jenna can shield. Monstrous bomb goes down. San has backup. In comes Loveling, and the tower is held off. San takes a big bit of damage there. Gotta be careful. Goon teleport is available. The if they go for this dive, there is a teleport for Go going. However, right now he's farming up bottom. They would not want to have to blow that teleport. Save could as well answer. Should be tower for White Shield by forcing San and Cloud back here. So even though they lost the trade before, I actually believe Cool managed to dodge the shockwave with his own ulti, like he was in the ulti animation. But as you said a moment ago, Dragon, this is not something we're used to seeing. This is some clear, concise thinking by OMG, and maybe thinking to themselves, okay, we don't have to fight here, guys. We can step away and fight again another day. And it is... That was just a good call. Really working out well. OMG certainly stepping up and maybe learning a couple of tricks. Remember, of course, they've been scrimming with just about every team available here at Worlds. We talk, obviously heard from Cloud9, their video talking about how they got to the quarterfinals. They were scrimming OMG at the time when Alliance were going down to Kaboom. So they've managed to scrim the North American teams, the Korean teams. And of course, don't forget, they were with the Chinese teams the whole time. Well, let's see if they are able to follow through with this Zed split. He's already got Blade and Brutalizer. Ah, uh, working towards his Ghost Blade here. They had a little bit of deep vision there, but it was quickly cleared out by Shield. So once again, Cool does try to head bottom. See if they can get this 1-3-1 one, one going. The timing is wrong. Yeah, the timing's wrong, and they're going to yeah, push up, and, and they're going to be on the inner turret before and OMG can react to this one, but with Stan now got that Trinity Force and Boots, he should be able to wipe the waves out quicker. So the time where actually wasn't as bad as it looked just here from first lines because there's only one wave pushing up the mid lane, they had cleared the other one. But the thing is, every time they want to do this split push here, go going on the top lane, he has no flash. So if he gets caught out of position, he will go down. 
which can be risky. So they have to apply pressure on every single lane at the same time. And if San is not sitting in mid lane, clearing the wave instantly and actually moving down towards the tower, then he will never be able to get anything from it other than just constant wave clear, constant wave clear, and waiting for White Shield them to make a move. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. He knows they're there. There's the Void Points catching on. The Howling Gale comes through, dodges out of the wave, but it wasn't quite the follow on that OMG were looking for. So Joey was nearby, but he's backed off instead. He's going to start building up towards that Frozen Art. Loveling once again caught by Watch. Gives him full vision, and they will step away. Big disparity, though, still between save and go going. And that may well be a serious problem as this game develops. Cool going back up top to split push now with the Zed, trying to create pressure on the other side where there's this big wave. Uh, bottom, it's also going to be pushing for OMG's favor down bottom. This is my goal, as long as they can defend the mid lane now, because then White Shield is going to have to send up safe to try and stop Cool in his one-on-one, -on -one. and Cool can kill him, which would mean suddenly they have to send someone else to defend and OMG can then or push they can down go the mid lane. But they can also just say, you know what, we don't actually care about your split pushing right now, we're just going to wait with our top laner at the tower and use the remaining four members to apply pressure on your mid lane here. But so far, good wave there from OMG. Remember, Shield are trying to uh, farm their way up, oh, through, up through the Zhanya, oh, up it. to the Mikhail. He's only got a run of ages, he's only got a run of ages, I don't think he's defensively enough. He's going to follow through, one more hit should do it, the pop goes through, Ignite is running, there's the kill. Can he get away though? Oh. One tower hit too many! Oh. He's gone. Second guess himself because of that sapling there and it cost him his life. Still though, this was under the tower here and I'm not sure if Cool had a chance to actually jump back to his ulti. Might have been gone the shadow just as he was about to jump out and therefore he ends up dying for it. But the damage he has on safe, I mean one on one, it is heavily in favor of Cool. Chain vest picked up now. But Whoa! So link, kick onto Cloud, flashes away, the wave will catch him. Will they follow through? Oh. Yes it is! What comes in? There's the shockwave pull. Zeph is the one that gets on the kill, but safe. After, uh, so go, go, going coming in on watch so many times. I'm mixed up on the rises, but OMG, it's only a support down, but 20 seconds till Dragon will give them the vision. And Pool's on the way though. Oh, Loveling, don't walk into that trap. He gets clever. The voice wise didn't land though, so he's unaware at the moment. Shield have controlled this Here they go. whole blue side. Speed in there, Zeph is going to be the focus, but go going quickly, dodging out of that. And while this is all happening, don't forget that Cool is back. He's split pushing down the bottom, clearing the waves. And Jim White Shield's chance to strike is gone. It was a good setup though by Watch here because Lovling was back in base and he saw the chance that he could go in and get a kill onto Cloud and then followed up himself after the flash. But just couldn't really get any objectives from it. Dragon is live. Dragon is up and Gorilla's ultimate is down, remember, because he used that wave a moment ago to catch out Cloud, which could be crucial, but OMG are not really making too many moves for it. Now they're heading in there. Gogoin's going to head off save. They both have the teleport. It's going to be save heading back to base. And look at Cool here. Pushed up the bottom lane, placing a deep board Whoop. himself. Loving just needs to not be caught out of position right here. This is by time for Zed to put the pressure. Oh, oh. Behind them. deep, Let's deep see. board. They didn't see it. They didn't see it. Let's see how Sal reacts to this one. He's going to find Cloud first. Sal manages to get away. Ball two from Cloud, but save into no man's land. Go, go in, teleport in. They go in, turn on towards save. They're going to blow everything towards him. Cool's flanking around the backside. He's trying to look for a pick off here. He's going to try and find one, but Najee White Shield, they group up. They have to stay strong. They have to stay as a bundle. Great but they're taking a hell of a lot of damage. They're getting spanked right now. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. They went way too deep in there. Cool's caught down. The exhaust use on him. Have they got enough? What a great stop up there. Cool tries to get away, but go go and gets pulled in by the shockwave and Najee White Shield, they have to disengage now. But San, he wants to make the kill. Goop goes out and goes down. And OMG once again come out on top. Six kills now on Go Going, and they're gonna get the dragon. Plus they have control of mid. OMG getting two objectives after. Going for the dragon and the tower at the same time. Risky stuff. Watch, Watch look at it. it. He wants to try and steal, or he could just go straight for the kill for Cloud. We'll back away. There's the mid turret. No, there's, there's the, the dragon going team. down. They don't need no smite. They got go going. <laughs> That's all they need. And he takes it down. And that was actually so White Shield wanted to set up the teleport behind OMG here. That was the teleport home guard. We're just going to see it. There's no wards from OMG, so they have no idea what's actually happening. All right. So, first off, Cloud here going to split them up. 
He gets save on the other side, so Maokai doesn't reduce damage for anybody else, and he's by himself basically taking damage while the rest of the team's not dealing any. And then this three-man squad backs off. Here's the cool part, where OMG poke really, really hard. They corral Sword here, and they don't let them out. Lovely from the bottom, cool from the top, and the giant big one from Sand coming in to hit. This part was just Lovely trying to force the fight. Allowing Cool to get in, exhaust timer, he waits out in the bush, then gets back into the fight when Go Going is there. The pillar of OMG's team fight here, Go Going, holding on to this one, and they continue this chase because they have the confidence the Root Prison coming back up. And Go Going, you saw it there, he flashed in, ulted, and caught all five of them, that yeah. giant burst of damage that he has, tucked up his sleeve. Let's not forget, that tier is almost fully stacked. But Najee Whiteshield reacting, trying to put some pressure back on towards that. They're not going without a fight, but again, they find themselves in this 4,000 gold cool deficit. Splitting. Cool splitting and Shield haven't had an answer here. Cool's going to get a turret right here, pretty much uncontested. He can Up. keep going. Save looks very lost. He just walked top lane. Realized he had to be bottom lane to try and clear it and recalled and lost the tower. Save has not improved his items since they had that last yeah. duel. And now, of course, Cool has picked up more. He's looking to flank around. They're trying to find a pick here. Blade active there. Ghost Blade active just to get in position. He's going for watch. He's going to find him. Can watch get away? There's the kick going in. Is it enough? Is it? Yes, it is. He goes down. They find the pick. And again, they make it count. The minions come in. They can keep pushing this mid. OMG out splitting shield, out team fighting shield, controlling them so well. And now they're going to siege them. They've got pressure on all three lanes. They're controlling side lanes better than shield. They're pretty much doing everything better at this point. It is all working in their favor. Cool coming round. He takes a tower hit. Didn't want that one, but save pushes round. They just flank around and say, thank and you very me. much. We'll push in on the inner. Gorilla and Goom trying to do what they can, but OMG come in and strip the jungle of every little minion available and then move back in for the tower. Might be going for Goong here. Gorilla as well, using Loveling and his spikes to try and stone them away. No, oh. Bubba to go going. Bubba go down, is it enough? Go going goes down, now they can turn it around. Sans gonna get focused on, doesn't land the twist in advance. The tower didn't quite go down, it's on the last hit. This is a risky game that OMG are playing. Remember, Baron is still available and there's no vision. Shut down, went to Zephyr there. That is crucial cool for S.H.I.E.L.D. Huge, huge influx of money for Kogma, their main carry, the center of their team fight for S.H.I.E.L.D. This is their hope. San is sticking too close. Oh, he's all alone. Does not choose to go for it. As you mentioned, he was all alone. Could have easily have twisted advance on towards him, but instead oh. backs away. Cool is cool. finding One's himself Zephyr. a target. He's going for Zephyr, but saves coming. Oh, he just got all that money. Everyone's collapsing for him, though. Oh. Realize it. Oh, cool. Oh. He's committed. At he's this committed. Point. He's he going is for it. Is he going to get it? That's the question. Is there enough? Oh, he's got, got the kill. Got the kill. He can get it can out, get out now. Can he get out? They're going to chase him towards him. Gorilla comes around. Aqua Prison has to be sidestepped. Oh, he doesn't cut it out of it. He went just as it came through. But has it left them exposed to anything that OMG could? Try and get, they're gonna push no. on save. They're going in, Gorilla's gonna get caught out. There's the Phosphorus prop, Dodgy's back around there. Watch comes around. This is the skirmish game that OMG loves so much. Sans gotta be careful, he's in a four on one now. They pulled him in, in Here comes Go Going though. Here goes Goo, Go Going gets himself in there. Goo's the focus, there's gonna be Sans going down. Have they got enough damage? This is a tricky, tricky fight for OMG. But again, Go Going has he's so a much damage. He just tanks him for days, Watch gets flanked out. One more shot, Lovely gets in, gets the reset, jumps back around, saving trouble. He's going down, the Aqua Prison's not going to be enough to save. Oh, he got oh, the kill, he's got Gorilla as well! And OMG clean up with a four for one fight. They are going to be singing Go Go's praises for a long time here. Jenna Speed should be able to get them out. Wow. I mean, again, he's two games in a row, you give the prize, and he is absolutely insane. I mean, this is the best top laner in China, such a superstar. He's also the captain, he's making most of the calls for the team as well. He's been on team for such a long time. He I'm not even sure what to say. <laughs> I mean, he's just... <laughs> he definitely still going deserves it. You can tell your story about his jawline and how impressive it is as well. I'm jealous, man. I am jealous. <laughs> I don't know. You've got a pretty good jawline going to <laughs> I'm nothing this compared is... to go going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he can pull more than the blue steel out, because this play, OMG 
as we said at the start. One man shock this wave, is that and fight. this is a four yeah. on four fight. Shield focused everything, trying to take down the Corky carry, but they didn't have anything left for Rise. And White Shield's comp here, they need Sephir to be there to deal the damage, because when you use a one man shockwave on Goong, you have a Maokai and a Lee Sin, that is zero damage left. So once Rise joins, is this one Sephir yeah. needs that QSS now, fast. It's Shield who have abandoned their solo lane carry style, and OMG who have gone with the split push style here. Working out definitely in their favor. Zephyr now with the team though, and he does have at least his Blade and Trinity Force. We even see Cole, he got Last Whisper now, which means if Sable ever wants to stop him in split push again, it's going to get horrible. It's going to look it, terrible. It's <laughs> going to look bad. I mean, Cole is going to destroy him. Dragon is a so Sagoon has to land the perfect shockwave, the one that counts the numero uno of all shockwaves to keep them in this matchup. 6,000 gold differential dragon. Oh, okay. Now what gets in? He gets himself another spike steal. It is the one saving grace that Nazi White Shield have had throughout this series. Watch has been on point with those smites. And that could be their road back to this. Remember, Shield do have a very good late game here. They do, as long as they can get team fights in the late game, they are Ooh. looking very, very strong. I'm looking towards the Baron because down his bottom lane, Cool is splitting, Save has teleport ready. Going down to try and defend the tower. Saves built up some armor, but he's definitely gonna have to stay under the turret. Yeah. Cool right now. Something we know of Cool is he's not gonna back down from a fight. Instead, they're gonna flank around and try and shove in the waves. Look at this, they're collapsing, they're trying to move up, they're gonna find oh, Cool. Look at Sefa. Just around the corner. <laughs> they, they all took the safe route through the jungle this time. Not a lot of vision left around Baron, though. Now we're gonna need some d wards here from OMG if they wanna. Yep find these single targets when White Shield is trying to disengage. And with all this armor built up for safe, while he won't kill Cool, under the tower at least, it becomes very hard for Cool actually to jump in. At least a bit risky. We have to see if he wants to try it later on. He's going towards the Garden Angel himself now. Problem is, it seems for Nadine White Shield is why they are fairly defensive in a protect the Zephyr style. When there's so many flanks from different angles that OMG are throwing them, Goins absolutely teleporting in from some angle. Cool's going to be flying in another angle. And Sans not afraid to get involved now that he's got the damage items in that Infinity Edge and Trinity Force stacked in there. Looks like a potential Last Whisper is going to follow through. They really have to keep hold of him because Zephyr, they need him to be big in this game yeah. because he's not shown up in the last two. He's the main damage dealer for White Shield. When you have the marker, when you have Lee Sin, you need, you have only two damage dealers, your mid lane and your AD carry. If you miss one of them, suddenly oh. you have no damage. Sneaky, oh. So they're sneaky. Ah, they got the, the watch ninja. too. The ninja's the one to walk straight through the vision here. Zephyr isn't there though, he's they coming know from base. They know it straight away, they're gonna get out, they're gonna get out quick. Lovelin takes a lot of damage, Cloud also. And Naji White Shield, they may try and take advantage of this and push in themselves. OMG should just go back to splitting here. I mean, Sam has been able to hold the mid lane for pretty much the entire game long. And going into a 5 versus oh, 5 can be a risk. Oh, oh they're the trying to go for the tank of all tanks. And Cloud. he walks away without... Man, is Cloud earning his weight this series? Oh, man. He bought enough time for Cool to come back from the bottom lane. Look at that, though. They tried. They committed. They tried to pile in there. Instantly, Cool was like, I'm going to get Zephyr. Sneak around the back. Not working out this time around, but he is still just off at the side there. Zephyr very much like, no, no. Get back. All right, so they have a Zanya's on Oriana. They've got a Mikhail's for Gorilla to be able to add another heal to Zephyr. So lots of shield there for that Kogma. Oh, Zephyr, Cloud taking very low. Zephyr might be able to finish him off. Good dodging though from Cloud. Does keep him out of harm's length. Well, she's doing a very good job forcing OMG to stay around here because of the Baron. So if Cool walks bottom lane, he starts splitting. Well, she could instantly start the Baron up here and force him to actually come back up and take a potential team fight. So they're doing a very good job with a lot of deep wards and the poke to simply force OMG to stay around this Baron. Oh, they got to shove up mid right now. Started. Base checking into this fog of war. Looks like they're going to go do it. Baron's in trouble, guys. This is risky, though, because in comes Sending the top laner. Run it in. <laughs> He's going to be the big tanky front line. Have they got enough to burst him down? He gets locked up. Nice, he goes down. That could surely be the fight for Nazi Watcher. They've got to flank around. They've got to land it right. And they can see OMG's disengage is so quick. They managed to get out safe, but 
Baron is a possibility. They've taken that top lane down, but he's still got teleport. That OMG alarm goes off. Oof, oof. Baron's in trouble. We got to go check that with Go Going. This time around, Shield quickly turn and get the kill, and they retain vision control as well, so they can continue to bait picks like this. When you have the stronger AoE team fight, it's easier to call, make these calls towards the mid game. And remember, in their comeback, Shield, it was about vision control. Oh, oh Gorilla. Gorilla caught out. They're going to try and go in. Quickly backs out. That's not going to be enough damage. That's the ultimate down. But Cool does flash away. And that is going to give Najin White Shield another advantage on this Baron. Their comeback, Shield versus Alliance. It was all about mid game vision control, getting picked over to Zephyr and getting him fed. Now, again, second Baron bait here. A Baron no commitment. Ulti cool. No ulti for cool. That is huge. He won't be able to kill Sephir. Oh, the teleport from Gogo in. In he comes. The curl. Oh, Aqua Prism's too early. It was Tele. Guys, he canceled the teleport. They just need to get Can the he steal it? here. Lovling has been losing out to watching these Take spice a lot of damage battles. In here. They have got a lot of damage. There's Cloud. The monster Go gets in. Sam gets on. Gorilla goes down. Oh, that's going to be Sephir. He's gone out the side. This spike still comes in as well. Lovling gets it away. And OMG. once again. So Naji and White Shield, they kept like dancing around this Baron because Lovling was there to jump in and try and steal it and they took so much damage. Oh, and it rained on them multiple times when Go Going gets in there with AoE magic And you're damage. just stuck inside the Baron they, pit as well. There is no way they're getting out of that one. And OMG, gonna walk right into the base. What a turnaround once again. OMG, they had the money, they had the control and Naji and White Shield thought they were playing OMG's game. They were wrong. They were absolutely wrong. Loveling baited what the whole time with those smites. He's like, yeah, 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 it's all right. I got this under control. Goes in, wins the smite, gets the in him, and OMG stroll out the base. So much more gold to them. 12,000 gold lead now. Gigantic advantage. Look at this fight. Yes, notice how they're staying here to keep dancing around. As soon as the teleport was cancelled, they go back into oh. the Baron to take so much damage from Zeppa Hawk isn't as well. in there. There's no damage without Zeppa. And then Lovelink dancing around. And as soon as OMG collapsed onto them, look at Zeppa. I mean, he's all alone. And in comes Go going. They, they thought the teleport, they thought he's too far away from the fight. Let's go. But no, they were wrong. It is very wrong. They probably actually expected him to be standing in base with home guard boots and then cancel the teleport and be like, okay, he's long gone. Yeah, but he'd already ran the, down towards his Baron. Go going with the mind games there, and Zeppa split off from the rest of the team. Shield looking, it looks like they're crumbling from the inside out. And the thing is, Last Whisper was just completed for Zephyr. Sure, you need it, but you also need a quick silver sash because yeah. there's a Guardian Angel on call, so you can go really aggressive now, dive straight onto Sephir. He has no flash for the next fight in case OMG wants to force it now. Just one shot him, kill him instantly. He's got a lot of damage, that's for sure. Najin White Shield, they need a Hail Mary from Watch. They need some sort of miracle pulled out because OMG are looking at the first clean sweep in the quarterfinals to face Starhorn Royal Club, a team that they've beaten twice in a best of five, back to back nonetheless, in the regionals for China. It wasn't the regionals, sorry, the playoffs. And they're gonna feel very confident going into this matchup and after beating potentially a Korean team 3 0, you damn well should feel confident because they have looked immaculate this series. It's not just that they're have already taken a really, really strong hold of this series. It's how they've done it. Such clean play from OMG this whole series. The confidence, keeping their heads, even when they were down in game one, and then the decisive calls coming back time and time again. And go going. And, and go going. <laughs> go going has been incredible, and you just keep giving him rise. You just keep paying the price. Cool is keeping that split push going. He's keeping the super minions hammering on towards the Nexus turrets. Najin White Shield are going to have to deal with that in a moment. They keep on just peeking around that side. Cool is looking to just keep throwing those shurikens in towards Najin White Shield. Sam goes in, shielded up, gets himself another couple of hits. Doing it by the numbers right yep. now. And Najin White Shield is slowly losing this battle. As long as they keep getting some damage on the tower every single time they have the chance, and it will go down eventually. 
and force Wright to just engage onto them, and that's not what they want to do. I mean, Sefa again still has no flash. Oh, Gorilla's low this time around. Saves taking some punishment. Look at Lovely. He's looking to flank. He's looking to land those void spikes. The tower again getting lower and lower. They keep on poking around the side. They keep just moving towards Cool. That's why Lovely went around the side there. He needed a little bit of support. They were trying to collapse on him. But Najin Whitefield has slowly but surely been whittled down on this tower. The tower, here they go, they're gonna keep on it. There's the turret going down. Turret number two in the base. And Najin Whitefield watch on helplessly. Are they gonna engage? Loveling was taken low, but he's got that Guardian Angel. He could try and bait them in there. Sat takes a little bit too much punishment. At the moment, Najin Whitefield holding on for dear life. Last gasp effort to stay in the quarterfinals. But OMG, they take themselves in excess. They're going to even go on this one. Whoa! Whoa! It is once again the Go Going Show. And he goes in. Zephyrcorn out. No! QSS, not going to be enough. Doesn't matter. Doesn't care. It's Go Going that gets himself safe. OMG chance come on and ring around in Korea as they take down the Nexus turn. They turn on Zephyr. They take down Zephyr. Go pulls them in. But it's not enough. It's going to be a 3 0 clean sweep, ladies and gentlemen. OMG. G have done it and taken down Naji Whitefield in the quarterfinals. And they've done it with style. My goodness. Are you impressed with Cool Z now the Bishop? Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, just OMG as a team, the way they've improved the fact, first of all, they don't contest every single objective. If they're in a bad situation, they don't go for it. They show the new how to split push as well. They play the team fight perfectly. I mean, OMG looked so good in this series. They are definitely over any nerves that they had in the group stages, removed all doubt here. And the fact that they're facing in the semi-final team, they've already beaten twice in the best of five series, is gonna give them so much confidence. A team they know as well. What amazing semi-finals we had ahead yeah. of ourselves when we get to Seoul. The two Samsungs facing each other in an all-Korean clash. OMG and Starhorn Royal Club in an all-China clash. It's going to be a Korea-China semi-world final once again, just like last year. And my god, we've got four awesome teams in them semi-finals now. Yeah, if you can take down Najin's shield, the third seed from Korea, 3-0, you can definitely give Samsung teams a run for their money as well. We're going to have to see what Royal Club can do against OMG. The thing for me is Najin Whitechill just found one thing. You know, they switched it. They tried the poke in the first two games, didn't work. Okay, let's switch to a team fight comp. OMG react and say, we reckon they're probably going to change things up here. Oh, by the way, you give go go and rise. So we'll just go split push you. And they did it brilliantly. This is something we haven't seen from, from them throughout this tournament. Yeah, they OMG pretty much did everything better than Shield during yeah. the series. They Every single Kept answer that guessing, came yeah. up, any variable was dealt with. And the jungle matchup, we talked about it before the whole thing even started. Loveling just outshined Watch completely every single game. This was first pick Lee Sin.